And to Cheryl and Ted, they looked exactly like a hive of ordinary bees. When I came back out of the shed, it sounded like a freight train was coming. I went over to help her, to protect her. I was swarmed by bees. I got her up on her feet. We ran to the front porch of our trailer, which is about 100 feet. A violent, inbred rage had taken over. The sting of the Africanized honeybee is the same as other bees. They're just far more likely to attack. I grabbed a water hose, and she grabbed a water hose, started spraying each other off and ourselves off, try to get rid of the bees. But the water was no deterrent. Cheryl's father, Mac, heard the screams. Ted yelled and said, we're being attacked by bees, call 911. And they were all around the house. They were trying to get in the windows. And, and it just they just never gave up. Cheryl had now been stung more than a hundred times. The last word Cheryl told me before she closed her eyes was, I love you, Ted. Uh, she closed her eyes. She collapsed. I was holding her. The bee venom sent Cheryl's body into anaphylactic shock. She died minutes later from a massive allergic reaction to the venom. Great loss to us, a great loss. I never imagined that a beast could be that aggressive, but they killed. They killed, and they killed for, for no reason. When, what, what was the reason? The answer is, they probably thought their nest was under attack. When Africanized bees feel threatened, the slightest vibration, movement, even a strange smell can provoke them. Killer bee attacks are rare in the United States. And although a swarm of bees is a terrifying sight, there's another bug that's infinitely worse. I saved the best for last. My search for the ultimate bug ends here in Japan. Just the sight of this insect strikes fear in the hearts of the people who live here. It's a killer whose venom can dissolve flesh, and it's called the giant hornet. And I've come to Japan to find these hornets, and at five times the size of a honeybee, they're not only the world's largest hornets, they're one of the most aggressive. And they're notorious here in Japan, killing nearly 40 people per year. Now I'm heading just outside of Tokyo to find them. So uh, I'm here with the world's expert on giant hornets, Masato Ono. Have you ever been stung? Yes, I, I, I did. I did. <laughs> what did it feel like? Um, it's so painful, uh, like a hot nail being driven into my skin. A hot nail? Uh, yeah, sounds great. We have a medical doctor standing by. Um, we have a hospital on call. We have EpiPens, injections. If I get stung, immediately I'll drive a shot into my leg like a hot nail, and that will reduce the danger of me having a bad anaphylactic shock, which is the real killer. And without medical treatment and the adrenaline injection, I could, uh, how they say, die. Masato has found us a nest of some 200 workers, and knowing what just one of them can do, I'm feeling seriously nervous. Where is it? Holy smokes, these things are big. I'm looking down the list. Everything inside of me is telling me not to do this. Just look at that thing. Patrolling the nest entrance are two guards. That marking me. See, she's going straight for my eyes. If I didn't have this visor on, 
they'd be spraying me in the eyes in the eyes and I would certainly be blinded whoa I can hear I can hear the sound that's the warning stay away stay away Ooh. See it? Ah! scary stuff she's spraying she's spraying venom I can smell the venom their venom contains a powerful alarm scent, a pheromone that calls the rest of the workers to arms. And within seconds, we should start to see a lot more hornets coming to defend their nest. Look at there. Whoa, there she's stinging me. She's stinging me. So you see the sting is stuck? The venom of the, of the sting in, in these giant hornets it's composed of 11 chemicals, all which are nasty. There are chemicals that dissolve flesh. There are pain-inducing chemicals. What these workers are defending is their colony's future. Inside the nest is their queen and the next year's generation of young hornets. Over the summer, the queen produced thousands of eggs which developed into these female worker hornets. Their job is to feed and protect the next generation of developing larvae. The brood's appetite is huge, keeping the workers on an endless hunt for food. Luckily for us, most of this colony's workers are miles away. When they find a colony of bees, it can be a massacre. In just three hours, 30 hornets can decimate 30,000 bees. Their prize? The bees' larvae and pupae, which they'll feed to their own young back at the nest. We've got, I would say, 50 to 60 of these hornets of surrounding me. Masato, let's go, okay? okay? Yes. I think we've seen enough. Bugs have been around for millions of years. Pollinating, fertilizing, recycling. They make our planet run. Some of them may give us nightmares, it's true. But you gotta hand it to them, bugs are pretty fantastic. And to someone like me, a bug fanatic, well, there's no sewer too dark. No swamp too dangerous. No sting too painful if it brings me face to face with one more incredible bug.